Hi everyone, it's Allison from the Protocase team. Today I'm going to show you how to import a DXF file into Protocase Designer. Two-dimensional DXF files for cutouts, graphics, or groups of cutouts and graphics can be imported into Protocase Designer either directly onto your design or into your personal cutout library within Protocase Designer. This is especially useful because it will allow you to mark components, boards, and other items in your design. And this will give you the chance to ensure your mounting holes are placed correctly and nothing will interfere. So the most important thing you need to remember is that DXFs imported into Protocase Designer must be ASCII DXFs, not binary DXF. This is usually an option you can change in the DXF export for most CAD software. Since our lasers can only cut lines and circular arcs, your cutouts must be closed loops of continuous lines. Splines are not supported. One more thing to note before going any further. When Protocase Designer imports DXF line types, they're converted to either construct or exclusion zones. So continuous lines are converted to a construct, bilayer is also converted to a construct, center and center times two, however, are converted to exclusion zones. Hidden lines are converted into constructs. And then finally, dotted lines in Protocase Designer become a profile, which is a boundary that provides you with a point of reference, just like a construct does. If you run into any issues importing your DXF file into Protocase Designer, all you need to do is send your DXF file to info at protocasedesigner.com and let us know that you were unable to import it into the software. Be sure to let our team know the software in which the DXF was originally created. So with all that out of the way, let's import a DXF file into a design that's already in progress. So first, you'll have your DXF open in your CAD software of choice. If your DXF is of a circuit board, you'll first need to remove everything from the DXF file except the mounting holes and the board outline. Then you'll need to change the board outline to the hidden or center times two line type. Remember, as I explained earlier, in Protocase Designer, the hidden line type becomes a construct and the center X2 line type becomes an exclusion. When your DXF is ready to go, you can save it somewhere on your local drive where you can access it. Now, switching back to Protocase Designer, I've got my rack mount design already open. I'm going to click on the face where I want to add my circuit board DXF in the face editor. Okay, so now I'm in the face editor. In the top menu, choose Cutout Library and Fasteners, then Place Object from File. I'm going to browse to the DXF file I saved, select the file, then click Open. So from here, the new library item dialog will open with the Keep Default Origin radio button selected. Now, if you want to accept the default origin as it is, all you need to do is click OK. But if you do want to change the default origin to something else, you need to select the Assign New Origin radio button. Click the dot where you want the new origin to be, then click OK. From here, the face editor is going to open with the cutout displayed at the cursor location. You can use your cursor to move it to your desired location, then click to place it on the face with its origin at that point. So you can also import a DXF file to be stored in your cutout library. That way you can place it on many different designs. Most of the principles are the same as in our first example, so let's go through it. You'll need to go through the same steps for prepping your DXF file in CAD. Remove everything from the DXF except the mounting holes and the board outline. Change the board outline to the hidden or center times two line type. Then you just save your DXF. So switching back to Protocase Designer, we're going to add the DXF cutout to the cutout library. If you're in the 3D view, you can select Cutout Library Manager from the top menu, then Open Cutout Manager. But from the face editor, you'll select Cutout Library and Fasteners, then Cutout Library. The outcome will be the same no matter which way you choose, either 3D viewer or face editor. From here, you need to click New Item from File. Browse to the DXF file you need, then select it and click Open. The new library item dialog will open with the Keep Default Origin radio button selected and the default origin displayed as a red dot. So just like in the previous example, you can accept the default origin as it is by clicking OK. 
or you can change the default by clicking the Assign New Origin Radio button and clicking the dot where you want the new origin to be. Click OK. So with that, the cutout is now added to your library and displayed at the very bottom of the cutout library list. You can place it on any design that you wish now. So this concludes our tutorial on importing a DXF into Protocase Designer. As you can see, it's a very straightforward way to ensure your fasteners for mounting your circuit board and other components are placed correctly. It'll also help to avoid interference. If you have any questions or run into issues, the Protocase team is here to help. Send us an email at info at protocasedesigner.com. Thanks for watching. Happy designing.